Hey, good afternoon guys. It's Steve Cal 5 juf I got a little demo today I want to do for you. What I want to talk about today is what your radio does when you go into CW mode. It actually does some things that are a little different that I'm still learning about. But what happens is, uh, when we're talking in upper sideband, we basically have one frequency. And what I've done here is I've got my FT991A on a frequency of 28049. 30, and I've got my President Lincoln on the same frequency. So in upper sideband mode, both VFOs are going to read the same thing. And that uh, means that your transmit and your receive are based on the same frequency or the beat frequency oscillator. So let me demonstrate just a quick voice. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot, Kilo India 5. So that's pretty straightforward. In upper sideband, we have one frequency on the VFO and any modulation that we do with our voice on either the upper or the lower side of the carrier is going to modulate and it's going to give us a signal or uh, acoustics. But what happens is when we go to CW mode the FT991A is going to shift the frequency and it's going to shift the frequency based on what your pitch setting or your side tone is because the radio is going to transmit specifically where that side tone carrier pitch is which will be equal to what your pitch setting is so let me demonstrate I'm going to take this radio over to CW let's see here stand by okay sorry about that now what I have done is I have switched this radio to CW upper sideband and I've still got my FT991A and upper sideband but what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to CW mode now what's going to happen is let me show you in the settings when I go to my pitch I have my pitch set uh, let's see I've got to go to CW mode let me do that real quick Watch what happens to the frequency. It's going to shift to, to up 700 hertz. Watch what happens. See what just happened? It just went up 700 hertz, or 700 uh, hertz, basically. But let me show you where that reference, where that comes from. Let me turn off the monitor real quick, because we don't need that right this second. Monitor is off, okay. Now, let me, t let's show, you, let me show you the pitch. The pitch is equal to 700 so what the radio did when I went from upper sideband it added 700 Hertz to the frequency so now my transmit frequency which is where my carrier is my side tone carrier at 700 Hertz is now at a frequency of 2850 so what that's saying is it's now referenced back to my receive VFO which is still at the 28490 30 number that's the reference uh, receive VFO but my transmit frequency is here so when I transmit now on the tone it's going to come across the radio but now notice this radio here is still at the frequency of 2849030 so this radio doesn't really have the uh, configuration to be able to work uh, CW correctly but what's happening is now I'm transmitting at a frequency of 700 Hertz, which is my side tone, and of course you can hear it. Now what's going to happen is, one of the things they talk about is zero beating a, a, a station. Now what I'm going to do is, as I start to change frequency, the tone's going to change. I'm going to slowly take the FT991A up to 2850. Hear it how it's changing. Now what's going to happen is, as soon as I get the Lincoln at 2850, it's nothing's going to happen because what's happening now is I'm transmitting at 2850. I'm receiving at 2850. Nothing's going to happen. Those signals basically there's no uh, reference for the, the oscillator to work. So if I take this back down to 28, 490, 30, which is 700 hertz less than this, 
now it has an oscillator that it can work off of. So essentially, in a nutshell, what's happening is in CW mode, your radio is going to shift the transmit frequency based on what your pitch is. So if you have a pitch of 800, then when you go from upper sideband to CW mode, it's going to shift the frequency. So let's go back to upper sideband and notice what happens to the VFO on the 991A. It's going to drop back to the normal uh, frequency we had before, less 700. There it is right there. Now I'm in the voice mode again. So now I've got both VFOs working, transmit and receiver on the same frequency. So when I speak into the microphone, audio, audio test one, one, two, three, four. Everything is working correctly. But when I go back to CW, since my pitch is 700, when I go back to CW, my transmit is going to offset my, my uh, beat frequency oscillator, which is actually at 284930. So when I go to CW, now, there's the offset again. Now I'm transmitting in code. So, and then, again, this is just something I wanted to show you. This is very interesting. I find it very interesting because in CW, you have a side tone pitch that you adjust, and that's called your pitch. That is a carrier that your radio is transmitting, but that carrier has to reference against uh, a beat frequency oscillator. So what you have is you have your transmit carrier, your transmit frequency, including your pitch, and then of course there's that uh, frequency less the pitch, and what happens is that those two beat off of each other, and that's how it generates what's called the side tone. So again, this is just something uh, I wanted to show you. Uh, you'll come across this uh, as you start getting into CW. You, you will notice that your, your radio will do some shifts and those shifts are uh, exactly related to what your pitch value is. So if I change the pitch value to, uh, if, I, if I change the pitch value here to 800, and then if I go back to upper sideband mode again, notice the difference. Now I'm at 428, 490, 20. So what I'm going to do here on the President Lincoln radio, I'm going to go down to 20 also. Now, watch this, I'm going to go back to CW mode again. Now the radio is going to jump back up to the same frequency because we're at 800. Eight, uh, let me go back to our sideband. All right, now we're back at 500. So now when I transmit, my new pitch is 800 and it's going to sound a little higher. So again, just wanted to show you this. This may be a little bit confusing, but uh, in CW, your, your radio, the frequency you see on the VFO, that is exactly where your transmission frequency is. And in CW, you have a reference VFO, and that's going to always be your transmit frequency less your pitch. And those two things beat off of each other, and that's how you hear the tone. So anyway, I hope this video is some help. It's just something I find interesting. So uh, again, everything's going good with the, uh, with the key. Uh, I've got a little setup here going on now. Got this thing going on here, so uh, this works pretty good. I got a little pad here, but uh, it gives me just about just about the right height. So, anyway, uh, exciting stuff. Looking forward to the CW stuff. All right, thanks again for watching.